How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for the second Wi-Fi battle video between myself and Necrocevo. This is our miniature uh, gauntlet that we're having here. Now you see here, today we're going to be doing Ubers. Of course, Ubers allows you to use any Pokemon besides Mega Rayquaza because that Pokemon is way beyond Ubers right now. You can use anything you want, including the Legendaries. So, and I really recommend, if you guys have not seen my first battle between Necrocevo and I, go check it out. I'll have the link for the last fight in the outro at the end of this particular video. Or you can just go down my playlist and watch it there. But I recommend you watch it because it was really epic. And this battle is awesome as well. So we're doing Ubers, like I said. And I have an all-legendary team there from left to right on my end. We have a Focus Sash Darkrai with Dark Void and Dark Pulse. Ice Beam and Psychic. Then we have a Choice Scarf, Zekrom. Then a uh, Mega Mewtwo X. This is the shiny one that I got from a giveaway. I used it before in one of my Battle Spot videos. So, fun stuff there. Then we have a Source Dance Extreme Killer Arceus. It's a normal type this battle because I didn't give it a plate. It's a Life Orb set. Then we have a Primal Groudon. I don't use Primal Groudon all too much. I prefer Primal Kyogre in the end. But this set is defensive. It has Stealth Rock, Fire Punch, Earthquake, and I believe Solar Beam. This is from Black and White. So it's been a while since I used it. I don't have access to the uh, regular set that Groudon has for going Mega or going Primal, however you want to pronounce it. But And then we have Zapdos in the back end. So, if you look at Necro, he has a Shuckle. He has a Mega Kangaskhan, which I told you guys in one of my other videos that Mega Kangaskhan is ubers. It is, and we are going to see it in action in this fight. Regular Kangaskhan is normal to deal with, but Mega Kangaskhan is too hard. You need to have the right Pokemon to face it in battle. And we see uh, Kurum Black. And man, I prefer Kiram White than Kiram Black. Yes, I like Kiram Black, uh, but it's really popular in OU and uh, Ubers. Because I believe I believe Kiram Black is OU. If not, then I'm wrong. But, you know, it was in OU when it was, and uh, it was really good. So, and then we see Gastrodon. Gastrodon I've used so many times in my ILL matches. Then we have Genesect to deal with. That thing was also OU. Um, and then Deoxys. It looks like it's Deoxys attack. And that thing uh, hits pretty hard. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer Deoxys defense form because it's really bulky and like you can set up a nasty plot and you can wreck things. So in the beginning here, I like to start with Dark Eye with Dark Void. I'm too comfortable to say that like Shuckle can carry a Lumberry. Most of them don't carry that for some reason. I'm just gonna go for a Dark Void and put that thing asleep. I'm thinking that he might uh, switch out. I'm going to double out and go into my Magneto, which is my, uh, the, uh, my Mewtwo X, excuse me. And yeah, uh, I was expecting him to switch, but he stays in. So had I stayed in there with Darkrai, bad dreams would take effect, and I could go with a Dark Pulse and do all sorts of damage to Shuckle. The nice thing about Shuckle is that it has access to um, Sticky Web and Encore and Knock Off. So that's why it's being used here. I go for Ice Punch, thinking that Shuckle is super weak against that move. Apparently it's not. And here he does lay down the sticky web. So that's a little bit unfortunate as the majority of my team members are 
very fast. And um, here we can freeze from the ice punch, which is amazing. Reminding me not to use a fire type later, uh, so that it doesn't thaw out. But yeah, he's frozen, which is ridiculous. You don't get that very often. And uh, his nickname for Shuckle, I do not want to say it because it's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of swearing at the same time. But uh, here he goes in a gastrodon. And this thing is really bulky. It has good physical defense. I go for Zen Headbutt because Zen Headbutt is stab, and I thought it would do a lot more damage than it did. I'm expecting him to go with a skull right here. So putting in Growlgong on the field will allow me to get my primal reversion going, block any water type moves against this thing, because Desolate Land blocks all water type moves aiming at uh, Growlgong. But here he does go for recover. And that thing, I don't know, I could have stayed in there and uh, skull him out, but he just goes for recover. I'm going to lay down my stealth off. Not a bad choice there. He does go for counter, so that's really good information to know. Uh, counter, you guys probably know what that does. It doubles the amount of damage it takes, and it bounces it back to you. So, if I went for Earthquake, like I do go for it, the next turn I go for it, uh, it will do double the damage back to it. So, this is going to be tough for Growlithe as this Earthquake does a lot of damage for Gastrodon being defensive and all that. And uh, counter is just going to wipe out Grogon. So, <laughs> uh, yes, that, that happened. That was tough. That was tough to see. But that is okay. I can go into Darkrai and um, just click Dark Pulse. I think my opponent was expecting me to go with another Dark Void. And if he wants to block it, he has to go back into Shuckle. And uh, Shuckle is frozen, so yeah, he was definitely expecting a Dark Void there. But I, I'm just going for a Dark Pulse, and it's going to take out Shuckle in the next turn. I go for another Dark Pulse. So that was a great turn of events there. Shuckle is really good in general. I don't use it very often, but I really should because it's working out very nicely for Necrosivo there. Has sticky web and everything. Now here's Genesect. Most of these things can be scarfed. They can be banded. They can be specs. They can be life orbed. They can be focus sash. All sorts of items here. They can even carry the drives. The item that, you know, changes your type. Uh, we definitely see a uh, bug buzz here, and it's life orb. So, and it hits Zapdos way too hard there. It's a two hit KO. And I think I'm going to switch out of here expecting another bug buzz because another one is going to take me out. But he doubles out into Gastrodon, expecting a electric type move. Which is unfortunate because I go into Zekrom, who's short scarf. I have to walk myself into a dragon type move because Gastrodon is part ground. Electric type moves will not work against it. So this outrage is going to definitely finish off Gastrodon. Very good information to have that out of the way, I guess. Uh, but this is bad because we get confirmation that the Kiram Black is short scarf as well, and he won the speed tie. Or I think. I didn't really calculate how speedy everyone is on the field. I just went for it. And uh, yeah, he's definitely scarfed too. So, the only Pokemon that can take an outrage at this point is Arceus. I know I can live it because of my bulk. And we can set up a Swords Dance and go with extreme speed, because a plus two boosted extreme speed is going to finish off Kiran Black. And I know from experience that Kiran Black is not very defensive by all means. So we're going to finish off Kiran Black. I'm definitely going to use Kiran White in the next uh, Ubers battle because nobody uses it. I'm telling you, because Kiran Black is so overrated. 
don't get me wrong, I like it all the same, but like, I just want to use Kerem White more. He does show me his own extreme speed with Deosis, and I survive with 3 HP to spare, and in return, KO Deosis, because Deosis in attack form is really defenseless. So, and we get a double gown out of this scenario. Isn't that awesome? But unfortunately, since I don't have Arceus, I don't have anyone to take care of Mega King is gone. So, and you're gonna see just how annoying Karam, er, wow. You're gonna see how annoying, uh, Kangaskong really is. Cause, like, it's a Mega Kangaskong. His ability, Parental Bond, allows it to hit twice. So, firsthand, he's gonna go for Fake Out. He's gonna hit twice on Zapdos. One and two. And we barely hold on with three HP as well, but we get flinched. Now, I know most, most Kangaskhan carry Earthquake, but he goes for the uh, usual set here with the power-up punch, raising your attack twice because he hits twice, and then he goes for Sucker Punch. So that's the strategy behind Mega Kangaskhan. And it really works. If you don't have anyone faster, and then you're in deep trouble. In addition, with Darkrai uh, being Focus Sash, it's going to be useless because, yes, we survived this hit, but, again, the Parental Bond ability. It, it's useless. So I went straight to Darkrai and it dies. And then my last Pokemon, I think, is going to be uh, Magneto. And I don't know how fast uh, Mega Kangaskhan is. Uh, oh, and because the Sticky Web. Never mind. The Sticky Web is going to take effect, and that means Double Edge is going to clean out Magneto because I don't outspeed it because of the Sticky Web. Gosh darn it. So that was a great battle. He does take a lot of recoil damage, but it's all useless in the end. But that was still a great match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and um, make sure you check out the first match that me and Lecro had. Anyway, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you guys with another Wi-Fi bell here soon. Alright, goodbye, trainers.